Yo, chess lovers, Sonen here and in today's video I want to share with you a game where legendary American chess player Bobby Fischer slays the Sicilian Dragon. His opponent is Edward Stepans and this game is from the 58th US Open which took place in 1957 in Cleveland. Fischer had wide pieces and he opened up with e4 to which Stepans answered with c5. The sharp Sicilian defense is on the board and now let's see what's going to happen in the game. Knight f6, knight c3, g6. Black is choosing the dragon variation which is probably the sharpest line in Sicilian defense. This is a line which requires a huge theoretical knowledge, lines stretching 25 and more moves and one wrong step can cost the whole game, you know? Sacrifices are just hanging in the air in this variation. Knight c6, f3, bishop g7, queen d2, Fisher is preparing castling queenside. Meanwhile, um, bishop c4, we see the Yugoslav attack with bishop c4 and a6. Black is deviating from the main theoretical battle. Theory recommends bishop d7, this is the main move. Queen a5 can be also seen often, or knight d7, knight b6, followed by knight a5 is also an alternative. But in the game we see a6. Fischer castled queen side and thus we have opposite side castlings. And this is very interesting because this is promising to be a very sharp game. Queen c7, bishop b3, b5. Well, so far so good, but this b5 leads to a catastrophe. Actually, in this line, playing queen c7 is not that good, you know. Usually, black is putting the rook on the c file in order to put pressure on c3. And it's not that clear what is the queen doing on the 7th rank. Usually, black is choosing this square for the queen in Scheveningen variation, in Nidor variation, but not in uh, Dragon variation. Anyways, in the game we see Queen c7, Bishop b3 and b5, which is losing. Better was, for example, first playing Knight a5 and then b5, if you want to go for that b5 that much. But in the game we see b5 and as we have reached the critical position, please pause the video and try to find Fisher's next moves. If you remember earlier, I guess it was in my previous video, I used this position as a daily puzzle and now we will see how is Fischer going to finish up his opponent. Although many viewers left right answers in the comment section. Here we go, knight takes c6 by Fischer, queen takes c6 and knight d5. Turns out that the queen and the rook are vulnerable and now by relying on that fact this combination allows white to win. Now if for example knight takes d5 then this is simple, bishop takes d5 is winning the rook. Uh, or after knight d5 if... Uh, well it's difficult to give black an advice what else black can play. If queen d7 then knight b6 is winning right? Uh, in the game, black played king h8 and there followed knight takes f6, e6, well, uh, and now you can just move back your knight on g4 and this is also winning, but Fischer chose a more precise continuation, bishop h6. He is proceeding with the attack and he is not satisfied by only winning a piece. There followed bishop takes g7 and only then Fischer moved back the knight on g4, thus giving black no chance of a counter attack, although there was not an easy task. He takes f5, rook takes f5 and the pawn on d6 also dropped, although bishop takes e6 is also winning. Queen e7 check, rook f7 and therefore load queen takes f7, this is very nice. Fisher's hawk eye sees everything, every possible tactic and this is how he quickly finished up his opponent. Bishop d7 and what is interesting this time Fisher decided to remove the defender and then win the pawn on e6 as well, thus 
finally black resigned. Yeah, this is an easy win. That's why after bishop d7, rook takes d7, resignation followed. Although Mr. Stepans could resign much more earlier. Uh, well, this is it, dear chess lovers. Hope that this game was useful for you. And this is something which can be made in a real game. You know this type of a position. So if your opponent goes for the, that type of a setup, you can punish him successfully. In the end, a chess puzzle for you, which is also taken from Fisher's game. He's playing against Bennett. J. Bennett, 1957, San Francisco. The task is to win with the white pieces. As usual, we'll wait for your answer in the comment section. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in my next video.